What's going on Spartans? Welcome back. Uh, two things I want to start out and say, if you are looking to see an awesome attack, a two star on a maxed lightning wall base, um, definitely stay tuned. But if you want to join my clan, there it is right there, you can go ahead and check it out. Uh, take that hashtag, plug it in and join King Spartans. I'll be actually getting 10 new people on Friday. So it's Wednesday right now at 3.46pm. This will be up an hour or two. And then Friday I'm, after this war, I'm actually going to be letting a few people in. Um, strong warriors only guys if you lose or if you don't try you will be kicked out of the clan I'm getting super strict on that and uh, yeah so we're actually gonna start trying in wars and we've been doing tier 1 wars just to get free XP it's been working a little bit but I think it's time that we start doing some serious wars we got some good guys here so let's get a few strong warriors in here and we shall uh, we we'll should kick some butt actually so we'll be showing some wars uh, this weekend hopefully but here's the base and I'm going to two-star this guy. I'm going to teach you how. Obviously, it helps with single-target Infernos. Um, if they are multi-target, you do need high-level heroes. Uh, with single-target, it doesn't really matter because the single-target is going to kill your heroes really quick anyway. So that's the one downside to them, as you're going to see. But first things first, you want to find a Wizard and Mortar close together. And then drop three Lightning Spells to take it out. And then on the same corner of the base, you want to get rid of either a Mortar or a Wizard Tower. And you want to use two lightning spells to do that. Once the corner of the base is undefended by uh, multi-target infernos and like area defenses like wizards and mortars. Then what you do is you check out and see if there's any places that you can get some easy, easy percentages on the outside of the base. And you can see I only found one building I can get. So I'm going to zoom forward on this. And now I'm going to drop down my clan castle which actually had giants in it. Along with my goblins to clear out the outside of the base. Uh, same strategy you use for go wipe. What you want to do is funnel your troops into that corner and you want to make sure the outside is cleared. So once the outside's cleared, you drop your heroes and then you drop another stream of archers. Obviously making sure that your heroes hit any bombs first. You don't want that big, big horde of archers hitting a bomb. That's terrible. As you can see though, the single target Inferno has targeted my king and killed him really, really fast. He didn't even do any damage to this base. But yeah. Anyway, the queen is guarded by all these archers. Now you can see the archers are going to kill the town hall here. These single target infernos can't do anything to stop them. Uh, this mortar will kill a lot of them though. And we're at 41%. Got archers all over the place because I made sure to spread them out after we got into the base. And I realized that we were going to take out the town hall. I spread out a bunch of archers. Uh, my queen is wasting her time on a wall. So I'm going to invis her. And as you can see, a bunch of archers on the outside here taking some hits now. But they are doing some damage. And the queen's going to help out. 49. There's the 50%, I believe, on this cannon. Yep, that's what got it. And then 51%. And cruising through the base. Now, my queen is dead. But we do have the two-star on a maxed lightning wall base. Um, and obviously, there are a few towers. It looks like a few archer towers and a few cannons that are not maxed out. So, don't kill me for that one, guys. I know it. But it is maxed lightning wall base, which is really impressive and hard to get through with tier 1 troops. But you can see here, we got the two-star. And if you want to go ahead and join my clan, make sure to do it. I'll see you guys on Friday. Thanks for watching. Peace.